Well, we go from uh, the palette and the tabaret, uh, now we go to the brushes. Uh, the fun part of painting, uh, to collect the brushes, uh, is always something that has intrigued me. I always see a brush, I say, geez, I wonder how that would work. So I grab it and I take it home and, and I try it on a painting. And sometimes I'm surprised, sometimes I'm disappointed. Uh, but for the most part, uh, you can look at a brush and you know about what it's going to do and if you need it for scumbling or you need it for laying work or if you need it for real detail work of course you go to uh, probably the finest brush uh, made which in my opinion is a Series 7 Windsor Newton I've used them for years and years uh, they're even hard to get a hold of now uh, but they're made from uh, Asiatic mink uh, of course uh, which is very rare, so therefore the, the, why they're so expensive. Uh, the mink is closely related to the weasel, and uh, some companies do uh, take the weasel hair and make it. Uh, it does actually qualify as red sable, uh, so it's interesting. But uh, for real detailed work, uh, this is just wonderful. As you can tell, I get into a lot of detail work with my paintings. Maybe I go to the detail too quickly and it takes up too much of my time, but it, it's just the way that I like to work and you'll find that you kind of get into a certain way of working that you're comfortable with uh, but for the line work uh, for all of the detail work uh, you can really um, just absolutely uh, put the paint exactly where you want it in very even really small areas uh, even later on I don't throw the brushes away right away this one has <laughs> almost no point on it uh, but then this one really holds the paint well and it works well for scumbling. I can actually get in there and get my strokes going. I can combine it if I want to act entirely differently. I hope you uh, enjoyed the first part of, uh, of this DVD section on the brushes. Uh, brushes are just a lot of fun and uh, of course they're so important to painting, picking the right brush for the right thing. Uh, later on in the DVD I get into different brushes I use for different areas, uh, especially lay-in work for this, uh, for the water and how, how it works. Uh, so I hope that you go to the uh, website, jimmillergallery.com, pick up the DVD. Uh, also I'd like to point out that this is a, uh, a jeet clay, a reproduction of the original. Uh, it's one of the finest jeet clays I've ever seen. Anytime you get uh, the dark area like this with a lot of detail next to a very light area with a lot of detail, usually you have to sacrifice one or the other. Uh, in this one, we exposed each one separately, put them together before we did the print, uh, so each one holds the detail uh, just perfectly. Um, this is also available on the website, La Chita de Amore, and uh, um, I hope you go to the website to look. Uh, JimMillerGallery.com. Thank you so much. Up.